Hi, this is Icefire9YT. This is my first video in my series, The Crisis. As the title suggests, this video will focus on the spread and dangers of invasive species. Some of you might be wondering why I chose this topic instead of many other, more prominent problems such as climate change, resource depletion, or overpopulation. The reason is that these problems are already relatively well known and understood. In addition, there are already videos such as Pothole 54 series on climate change that cover these topics in greater detail than I could in a single video. Invasive species are species that have been transported to an environment to which they are not native. Most of the time, they come with people. They are often brought on purpose as pets by immigrants, for a grazing or food source, or even to hunt other invasive species. However, many also make this trip accidentally. While often an invasive species is outcompeted shortly after arrival, some introduced species succeed with devastating results. Take the example of the European rabbit in Australia. What, behind the rabbit? It is the rabbit! In 1859, colonists introduced 12 pair of rabbits into Australia. They were going to become game colonial hunters. Six years later, 20,000 rabbits were killed in a single hunt. By 1900, it was estimated that there were several hundred million rabbits in Australia. The rabbits are devastating on Australian ecology. They are the largest source of species lost in Australia. They cause soil erosion, leaving huge areas of land unfarmable. Various measures of controlling the rabbits were implemented, including excessive hunting, releasing diseases into the rabbit population, and a rabbit-proof fence, if there is such a thing. These controls have met with little success. Today, the rabbit is among the most serious pests in Australia. In many cases, invasive species can cause more direct harm to human activity. Fire ants accidentally arrived in the United States on lumber imported from South America in 1929. Since then, they have spread through most of the southern U.S. They have caused car accidents by attacking drivers, made fields unplowable, disrupted phone service, electrical power, and started fires by chewing through underground cables, and have caused over 80 fatalities. It is estimated that fire ants cost the United States $600 million a year. Other invasive species cost even more. For example, zebra mussels cost the United States $3 billion a year. As demonstrated by the rabbits in Australia, it is almost impossible to eliminate an invasive species once it has been introduced. They can sometimes be controlled using a variety of measures, including the introduction of diseases, parasites, and natural predators, hunting, fishing, or grazing, and pesticides or herbicides. Controlling an invasive species once it has become established is always difficult and expensive. The ultimate goal should be to prevent the initial introduction and spread of non-native species. Preventing the further spread of invasive species can help save governments billions of dollars, maintain the productivity of land, save livelihoods, and lives. I warned you, but did you listen to me? Oh no, you know, didn't you? Oh, it's just a harmless little bunny, isn't it? Well, it's always the same. I always... Shut the 